Here we have a problem on derivative. There is an exponential function given over here. That is y equals to e to the power of sine inverse of x over x. And we have to find dy over dx. That is, we have to find the derivative of this function with respect to x. Okay, now let me write the given function as it is. That is y equals to e to the power of uh, sine inverse of x over x. Okay, since uh, we have to find dy over dx, that is, uh, we have to find derivative with respect to x. When I find derivative of this y with respect to x, it will become dy over dx. Okay, whenever we have an exponential term with base e, and if I find derivative of this one, I would write this stuff as it is. That is e to the power of uh, sine inverse of x over x. Okay, so once I'm done with this one, uh, by chain rule, I have to do further derivative of this stuff for the exponent. Okay, so by chain rule, when I find derivative of this stuff, uh, the exponent, I have to use a question rule over here because I find variable in both the numerator and denominator. So whenever I want to find derivative of a function which contains variable in both numerator and denominator, I have to use a question rule in derivative. What is a question rule in derivative? Okay, now let's consider uh, the two variables u and v which are in division. So here we have to assume both u and v are uh, variables and I want to find derivative of this uh, function u over v. So I have to, I have to apply the question rule. What is question rule? So first I have to take square for the part in denominator that is v square. That v, the same v should be taken over here in numerator times. And now I have to get the derivative of the numerator that is u prime. Now I have to take negative sign. Now what I need to do is I have to keep the numerator u as it is and I have to get the derivative of the denominator then it will become v prime. So this is called cohesion rule. Okay, now I'm going to apply cohesion rule uh, to get derivative of this sine inverse of x over x that we have at the exponent of e. So here already we got the derivative for this stuff. Uh, so for that I have to write this one as it is by chain rule. And now I'm going to find derivative of the stuff we have over here at the exponent. So first as I explained over here, what I need to do is I have to take uh, v square, v square means the denominator has to be square, then I square the denominator. Then what I need to do is I have to take the same denominator over here and I have to get the derivative of the numerator that is uh, sine inverse of x prime negative. Now I have to keep uh, the numerator that is sine inverse of x uh, as it is. I have to get the derivative of the denominator that is v prime. So here the denominator is x, so x prime, the derivative of the denominator. Okay, now e to the power of uh, sine inverse of x over x times uh, x times. Okay, now we have to get the derivative of the sine inverse of x. So when I find the derivative of the sine inverse of x, it is uh, 1 over square root of 1 negative x square negative. Uh, I keep the sine inverse of x as it is. When I find the derivative of this x with respect to x, it will just become 1 over uh, x square. Okay, let me continue. So here e to the power of uh, sine inverse of x over x times, okay, now we can multiply this x and 1. I'm getting x over a square root of uh, 1 minus x square negative sine inverse of x times 1 is just sine inverse of x um, over, in denominator we have x square. Okay, now uh, let me erase the rule over here and continue the stuff. e to the power of uh, sine inverse of x over x times, okay, now let's simplify the stuff we have over here. So here uh, we can assume uh, sine inverse of x as an integer, just for an example. Okay, so we do a uh, subtraction between a fraction and an integer. So whenever uh, I do subtraction between a fraction and an integer, what I need to do is I have to multiply the integer uh, by the denominator of the fraction. Once I'm done with the multiplication, I can take this denominator as a common denominator. Okay, now let me write it. So that is x negative. I have multiplied the sine inverse of x by this denominator square root of one negative x squared then I'm getting square root of one negative x squared times sine inverse of x. Okay, since I have multiplied, I just take uh, the square root of one minus x squared as a common denominator. Okay, and then uh, further I have to divide uh, everything by uh, the x squared over here. Okay, let me finish. Okay, now to do further simplification, I just consider this x squared as a fraction by taking denominator one. Okay, let me continue the next step. It is uh, e to the power of sine inverse of x over x uh, times now I'm writing this stuff as it is. That is uh, x negative square root of one negative x square times sine inverse of x over square root of one negative x square. Further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this division as a multiplication. When I change the division as multiplication, I have to take reciprocal for this one. So when I take reciprocal for this one, it will become one over x square. Now what we can do is we can multiply the two denominators over here. And also we can write the, uh, write the stuff separately over here in front of everything. So that is one over x squared times square root of one negative x squared. I multiply the two denominators and I've written this uh, one over x, uh, x squared times square root of one x, uh, negative x squared separately over here. 
Now the rest of the stuff is uh, e to the power of uh, sine inverse of x over x times uh, x negative square root of one negative x square times sine inverse of x. Okay, now I got the derivative of the given function with respect to x.